The overall goal of this procedure for deep sequencing DNA from cells that have been flow sorted according to cell cycle phase is to identify regions of the genome that replicate extremely late in the cell cycle. This method can help answer key questions in the DNA replication field, such as which regions of the genome have trouble completing DNA replication and are therefore particularly vulnerable to genome rearrangements. The main advantage of this technique is that even though it is very simple from an experimental standpoint, it provides a surprisingly rich view into the dynamics of genomic replication. To begin, inoculate 15 milliliter test tubes containing 8 milliliters of white EPD with yeast cells of interest. Synthetic or rich medium is acceptable. Culture the cells overnight for at least 12 hours to collect them during their real log phase distribution. The following day, when the cultures are at a density of 5 to 15 million cells per milliliter, spin down the cells and resuspend them in 1.5 milliliters of 70% ethanol. Then, transfer the suspension to a 1.6 milliliter microfuge tube and let the cells incubate at room temperature for an hour or for at least three hours on ice. After the inoculation, spin down the cells and resuspend them in one milliliter of sodium citrate. Finally, briefly sonicate the cells twice. Then, repeat the centrifugation cycle and resuspend the yeast in one milliliter of sodium citrate containing RNAs. Allow the RNAs to react with the yeast at 50 degrees Celsius for an hour or overnight at 37 degrees Celsius in a heat block or a water bath. After the RNA